A little while back I made a video explaining how to change out a, a sub panel in my barn and I made a terrible mistake and I'd just like to thank Brian G for commenting on that video and explaining to me my mistake. And so in this video I'm going to show you why it's a problem and how to fix it. The power coming into my house comes to what's called a service panel and that service panel has a ground wire that goes outside to a copper rod that's driven into the ground. It's like an 8 or 10 foot copper rod that I had to drive into the ground. And then from my service panel I'm running power out to my barn and in the barn I have what's called a sub panel. The power coming into my service panel is going um, into either side, one phase on each side and each phase is 120 volts from neutral and then 240 across the two phases because they're 180 degrees out from each other. And then inside there also I have a ground and neutral bar where all of the ground wires, the bare ground wires and the white neutral wires tie together. Those are tied to ground just outside the house with that copper rod that's driven in the ground. So you can tie the uh, neutral wires and the ground wires together here and it's okay because the copper rod is right there. They're going to ground right outside the house. Now when I run power from my service panel over to the sub panel, I'm taking those two phases and of course they're separate and bringing them into the sub panel and then I'm also taking the neutral the, which is the white wire and the ground which is the bare wire taking them to the sub panel separately now inside the sub panel I have my two power lines coming in line one and line two which is my two 120 lines that are 180 degrees out and then I also have the neutral line coming in uh, to the neutral bus which is isolated from ground and I have the ground coming in to the ground bus which is tied to the box and that's tied to all the, uh, the ground wires on all the appliances. The power coming in on these lines um, on line one or line two would go back on the neutral line. That's how the current would be returned back to the main panel. So if you tie the ground to the neutral line at this point the power going back to the main panel has two paths that it can take. It can take the actual ground path. So now you have current on your bare wire, which is not something you want. And that's where I made my mistake. So in the rest of this video, I'll, I'll be showing how I separated those lines out inside the panel and corrected the mistake. So I talked to my electrician friend and he explained to me that I need to add a ground bus bar in here. There are neutral bus bars here on the side, there's four of them, but they're not isolated in any way from each other. They're all tied together. So those are all strictly for the neutral or the white wire. There's a bar that comes with the box that I just had set aside. I didn't realize what it was for, but there's a ground bar here and um, it comes with the box and you can attach it in several places. Um, there's a spot for it right across here on the bottom, there's a spot here on the side, and here on the side I'll have to decide which one's going to work best for me. And then I'll attach it to the box. I believe I'm going to put it on over here. So before I start working inside this box, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the main breaker bringing the power in. So that's this one here. That turns off the whole barn and now I can safely work in here.
Okay, so now I've got the grounds and the neutral separated. You can see up here on the neutral bus, I've just got white wires going in. And all the bare wires now are going down to this bus bar here. And I've got them all tied in. I'm ready to turn the circuit back on once I, uh, once I place the lid on it. Um, I had some wires that wouldn't reach as, as they were run, wouldn't reach all the way across. You can see this one up top wouldn't reach quite all the way so I tied it into another wire that would reach with this um, this ground uh, wire nut and, and it passes through and goes to the bus bar. I think that'll be okay. Um, I'm sure I'll hear about it in the comments if it's not and I appreciate any comments on that. Thanks for watching.